A variable is a gadget that stores a number, as you can see there, that's like the stored number that it's got. And if you tweak it with L1 and square, like that, then you can see all of its uh, its settings and so on. So the basic ones are its initial value, the minimum value, and the maximum value. So that's uh, very simple. If we just use L1 and square to set these values, let's just set this to 10. Um, uh, the other part of it is the variable modifier. So wiring things, you can't wire things into the initial value or set it directly through this gadget. You use a modifier, which has a different set of settings. So if we name this uh, whatever we like, and then we can type in that same name here. And now this modifier modifies that variable. And we can actually use up and down on the D-pad with the uh, with using the DS4 to cycle through these to find the uh, the actual names of variables that we can affect. So now uh, this variable by default is setting the value. So if we just do that, uh, we'll use a switch, which just can just turn stuff on and off like that. So if we run time and then I turn it on then it set it to 3.3 .3, and now that variable says 3.3. .3. Um, if we set it to add mode instead, it will start at the initial value as we set up here. If we just set that to a different value. So it starts on 0.6 and we're going to add 3.3. .3. So now we're on 3.9 and each time it's powered, because we're on this when powered on mode, each time it's powered then it adds that value. But then when it gets to this maximum value, it stops and just stops at the maximum, which seems to make sense. You can add negative numbers as well. So if we just reset these these uh, values, so every time I power it, it'll add a negative number, which means it subtracts 4.9, like that. Reset. So if we have, yeah, let's have this one. If we copy that, then we can use this one to reset. So now if we play time, we can use this one to subtract 4.9. And then we can use this one to reset it to the initial value. So if we do that, then it resets it to 0. If the initial value was 8.6, then this would subtract it. Now we're on minus 6.10, and then we reset it to that initial value of 8.6. The difference between when powered on and continuously while powered um, can affect how your game works. So if we set this to continuous um, and then we power it, then it's it's subtracting that value every uh, frame, which means 30 times a second while this is powered, it's subtracting 4.9. So if you make that a smaller number, if you make it add 1 and you play time, then it's adding one to this value every frame. This also works for these other values. So if we go and use set, uh, this is going to set it to minus 4.9, continuously setting it to minus 4.9. Um, this, uh, the add operation happens last. So it's setting it to minus 4.9 and then it's subtracting this constantly every frame as well. So, or adding this every frame as well. So um, if we use the reset mode and we had this uh, adding some value all the time. Oh, I'll let me turn that off. So if we turn the reset mode, uh, uh, if we turn the reset uh, modifier on, then it's resetting it to zero. And if we don't power this, we can see it's resetting to zero. But then after that, it's setting it to 2.7 or adding that value. And then when we turn this off, it's no longer resetting. So it's just letting it add continuously, uh, which is just like a tiny little nuance I noticed. Uh, the get mode just gets that value. So um, there's no point like powering it or anything because it will just get that value. It won't affect the value in any uh, way. So if we use a um, number displayer, and we use the variable value, not this uh, operation value. 
variable value. So it's displaying the same number as we're getting on there, just as uh, you might expect. So you can get the uh, the current value also just from the modifier, or from the variable itself, and display it in the same way. And of course, if, if you don't plug anything in, you can just leave it powered and it'll do its thing. Or you can unpower it and it won't do its thing. I'd like to thank Mobius DT, Shadow of Callus, WoodSense, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.